Hey there, Reed here. I am a rare inside my house with you today. And today I'm showing you some of my paintings. And some or all of these are available for you. If you send me an email, your zip code, I can figure out basic postage. That's all I'm really asking for here. I'm trying to make some more space. Now, if you want to offer any more money, obviously, if I don't have money, that'd be great. But the key is I'm running out of wall space and I want to put more paintings up because I'm making more paintings. And so I uh, figured I would show you some of what's happened as I flip the screen around. Let's start up at the top here. Now, the light is such that you're not going to get the full effect of some of these paintings here um, because I use some interesting different kinds of paints that react to the light in nuanced ways and not all of these are available because my wife really likes some of them or I really like some of them but a lot of them most of them are totally available and you know when I do these I'm frequently meditating and I like watching patterns develop some of these ones, like this one, is a in the process piece, watching the different kinds of brush strokes that take place, or a concept piece like this one, where it's all is black on black. There's actually one more piece of black. This, by the way, this little triangle here, is the black 3.0, which is some of the blackest black paint that exists. And you see the nice little pointless bird that's there. Uh, yeah, I like watching different rhythms take shape in things. And it's really just a nice relaxing process for me. I get different ideas frequently about things. And some of them, like this one, if I recall correctly, I was working on a different painting and then I had paint left over. And sometimes I find those to be the most enjoyable ones. I really like just seeing what each of the different colors all coming together demonstrates. And it's a pattern rhythm sets. Yeah. Similar to the black on black, but white on white. There's uh, three different colors of white on there. Let's see, I'm on a staircase here, so my angle is getting interesting and curious. Let's see. And as a extra special piece, this is a robe that I made that uh, became my wedding robe. It's difficult to tell from here, but I put a bit of the Fibonacci sequence into it and uh, a bunch of different things in the color spectrum. The lights there not working out well for that at all. Here, hold on more. So these ones are some of my favorite ones right now. Some of them have been around for a while and this one up top is brand new. Let's see if I can uh, up into that. So those ones are not going to be sent out to anybody, but I just really love how some of that's going. All right, and welcome to the final space that I have some paintings. Now, uh, the light in here is terrible. I don't even know how I can paint in here because the lighting is so bad. In fact, I bring stuff out after I've painted them into a sunnier spot. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what it looks like. So, I'm not expecting uh, things to come out very well from in here, but I'll give you another idea of some of what's happening here. Again, I'm inspired by nature a lot, and like some of those things are and not all these ones are fully finished necessarily. That's why they're up, so I can kind of see them and see what's happening. But I'd love to see, uh, yeah, what happens in water and nature no let's try not to get the blaring light working on a couple bigger ones down here 
You know, these ones are probably not getting sent out anywhere uh, just because they're so much larger. And uh, I don't know if either of those are finished just yet. I'm waiting to spill into them more. And there's some subtleties on all of these that are not coming out as far as I can tell in this video here. But it's giving you an idea. Again, a bunch of those. I don't think most of those are done. One down here. Pretty fun one. I actually really like that one. I'll hold that one up to the light in a moment. These are old tea leaves. My wife and I drink tea every morning. Maybe you've seen a photo from that. Um, and I spray painted them. You see all that shines? I mean, it's actually pretty decent on the camera here. And I was, uh, I think I was kayaking out one night. Maybe I was paddleboarding. Either way. And the way the sunset was happening, I was getting like a rainbow of sparkle effect on the water. With these little pinpoints of light bouncing off as well. Again, the world around us is pretty amazing. The other things I like to do with the paintings are allow the different frequency sets of the universe and existence and, and the galaxy to come through and attempt to allow those rhythm sets to percolate. And then some of my music actually I'll be looking at those paintings and then allowing that to influence the music that's made. Check some of that out in this channel too. So again, if you're interested in any of these paintings, let me know. Again, if I'm going to be gifting them, I'm probably just going to make the choice myself, just like I do when I gift them to a friend for a birthday or whatever the situation might be. Um, whereas if you're interested in a particular one, you can talk to me about that. I'm not charging that much because, uh, I'm still an unknown artist. Go figure. But I'm having fun with it. And that's the important part primarily too, is like whatever level of practice that's good for you mixed with have fun, try to up the ante of the fun. I got some other unfinished ones that are below my desk, but I'm not going to bust them out because they're so unfinished. And I like having a bunch of ones to work on because I never know when I mix up a particular color where I think it's going to fit into and so I work on many of them across time oh you know what? I didn't show you this other one that I really like it's not going to show up too well in the light but let's see it that was a lot of fun to make that and I feel like there's something missing on it that I have to put back in but so with that thanks for watching thanks for subscribing to the channel and I hope that you have too much fun